Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we're going to be doing an unboxing and look and information video on the Milwaukee M18 fuel pack out radio, which is 2950-20. So please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. Hey everybody, how's it going? Alright, so today we got the Milwaukee M18 Packout Radio Plus Charger. I believe I called it fuel in the the intro. This is not a fuel capable tool, I apologize. This is the 2950-20 Bluetooth battery and cord. I do know that I mentioned this probably well over a year ago, maybe two years ago, when I bought the DeWalt's Tough System 2.0 radio, which I did a bunch of videos on. That radio is still working just fine. I never had to send it back. You know, I'm not sure. Maybe certain people had a bad rap with it. Some people didn't. Um, this radio is, is most vers versatile, durable, modular storage system that's compatible with all of these items here. Um, large toolbox, low profile compact organizer, backpacks, totes, uh, smaller toolboxes, larger totes, 10, 20 inch totes, um, compact organizers, low profile organizer, tool case with inserts, uh, 15 inch totes, coolers, tech bags, all kinds of stuff. It does say limited lifetime warranty on the bottom down here where my finger is. Fully customizable, impact resistant, water and debris IP54 rated. Not really sure why the curtain's got to be in the way. So on the back, Packing out compatible 360 uh, degree sound 10 speaker system delivers balanced sound full range connection Bluetooth 4.2 AM FM and auxiliary allows for full range audio offerings not really sure why and this bothered me back then why they didn't just give you the the new 5.0 um, at that time when this radio came uh, was first um, introduced we were on Bluetooth 5.0. It's got Bluetooth 4.0. Bluetooth 5.0 allows other things. It allows you to connect to multiple devices um, at the same time. So if you wanted to connect this and the DeWalt Tough system, um, my phone will allow multiple connections at the same time and it will actually play the, the music that I'm playing on all of those devices if my phone is connected um, to them at the same time. Uh, my phone actually gives me the option that I can select up to four um, speaker systems to run the music through. We will definitely more than likely do a, a longer demonstration video on this um, down the road. Today we're just going to take it out the box. We're going to give specifications what the box says, what I know about it, um, and uh, maybe just a uh, a quick, you know, couple YouTube songs or something, um, and we'll go from there. Subwoofer plus passive radiator. Passive radiator is not, it's passive, it, it, it's not really an actual speaker. So, you actually, I believe, you only get 10 speakers to be honest with you, if I, or nine speakers if I remember correctly, but. The passive radiator does allow bass to hit harder. It does allow certain speakers to, to function better. Tweeters and full range speakers. So this does have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sub is nine. Passive radiator is considered 10. Um, so you have a tweeter on each corner at the top and then a speaker on each corner in the center. And then you have the radiator and then you have the subwoofer in the back charges all m18 batteries and mobile devices built in six inch or six foot cord and usb 2.0 
I don't think there is any other information on this box. Oh, there is. Designed by Milwaukee Tool. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 2950 pack out radio plus charger. 3.2 millimeter auxiliary input cord. Two AAA batteries for memory backup. Uh, that's what it comes with. So let's get this guy open. Got a knife here. I did get a discount on this at Home Depot. Um, I did buy a bunch of tools. SDS hammer, M12 right angle drill. Um, got the Milwaukee uh, 2780 grinder. Got some Makita stuff here. Do have some accessories to, to open up for you guys. This guy. Um, so we're going to be doing Makita tools on the channel now. Box open. Okay. Try not to knock the camera over. in and out just a little bit at a time. Don't want to drop it. This box is in actually pretty pit, pristine condition. It's probably the nicest box I think I've ever seen at a Home Depot, to be honest. Most of the boxes at Home Depot are pretty, um, pretty messed up. Slide it this way. box is empty. There's nothing left in that box. It is very well packaged. I will give them that. So you got your instructions. M12, M18 pamphlet, two AAA batteries. One is off. one is off. I'm actually very impressed on how nice this was packaged, to be honest with you guys. Pull the handle up slightly. So the plastic was actually wrapped. So it was actually wrapped like this, slid under. Like that. And then the handle was brought down to lock the plastic in. So best wrap I have seen on a Milwaukee tool, to be honest with you guys. I do also have some uh, an accessory coming in for the SDS hammer from a buddy of mine. Bought uh, an accessory from him. I don't see any blemishes on this stereo. It's actually in, to be honest, the nicest um, condition I've seen on a packout item. I even got the new Packout Vac and the M12 Vac, and I actually had to re—I had to take those back because they were damaged. Um, I do like that they give you an actual antenna. That is one thing that the the Dewalt um, Tough System 2.0 does not do. Does not give you an actual antenna. Uh, so that to me, that's a plus. To be honest. There's a little bit of scuffing up here, but I'm not worried about it. It's going to get uh, used and abused anyways. So let's... Okay, so we open this tray right here. We have 
the auxiliary cable plugged in. Um, and in order to use this on my phone, I'd have to have an adapter, which would be a 3.5 millimeter to a USB-C, because my phone does not. Mine is the new Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G, so mine doesn't. Uh, a lot of the Samsungs don't carry um, auxiliary ports anymore. More than likely, I'm just going to use it with Bluetooth anyways. up a little bit so you guys can see so that little screw in the back right there that little panels for the AAA batteries gonna pop the little packaging open a little disappointed that it didn't come with uh, normally all M18 tools come with a, a little 10 tool entry ticket. This one definitely did not come with an entry ticket. Um, these are GP alkalines. So these are really common batteries. I'm surprised they're still made. Um, you used to get lots of things um, with these batteries. So Phillips number two. This is just a Quinn screwdriver from Harbor Freight. Never had any issues with these. These are actually probably the, the best fitting screwdrivers I have um, used in a long time other than like snap-on and stuff. So just put the batteries in kind of like a, a TV remote. Pop that in. Pop the cover back down. Sorry, I can't show you guys this. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Snug it up. You don't got a heat man it or anything like that. So I do have some batteries over here. Got a bunch of batteries over here. We'll grab just the 12 amp hour. Slide the 12 amp hour in, which there is. There's enough room to slide my fingers under it. So uh, if they ever went to like a 14 amp hour or anything, you definitely could be able to use that. Nice rubber, it's not foam, it's an actual rubber gasket around the housing. That's nice. Move the stereo over here a little bit. So here is the cord, the cord, I kind of wish that they would have um, provided a cord that you could just plug in and then plug it into the wall, kind of like old stereos, old CD players and boom boxes where you just, you know, had the, the round side and then you had the square side cord. So this side was round, uh, oval or rounded, this side was square, you just plug it in and then you plug it into the wall. But it does have a nice, a nice cable. I do like, that's one thing I like about the DeWalt Tough System 2.0 is uh, the, the actual cord is stored inside the unit. Um, they could have easily put, they could have put the, this bottle opener, you know, when you want to drink a beer or whatever. They could have put this bottle opener on the back or on, on, one, on the, another side or they can even attach it to like, this door or something and they could have put another door right here just like this side for the battery compartment they could have put another compartment on this side big enough to to literally house the the cord and the cord in my opinion they could have um gave you similar to the tough system 2.0 where you basically just um take it out of the you know, pop the door down, take the whole thing out, plug it in the back of the stereo, because the Tough System 2.0, it actually plugs into the back. Uh, but it's not 
There's nothing wrong with it. Um, nothing wrong with it at all. It's very nice, clear to read display. That is very nice. Let me grab. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can bring this in here a little bit. It's gonna be kind of hard. My uh. Can always move the stereo in a different spot. Bench isn't technically big enough for this, but. Um, grab my phone, hook it up. Real quick. Settings, my phone right here. Connections, Bluetooth, the watch is connected at the moment. Hold the Bluetooth button down until it starts rapidly flashing. It's flashing uh, quite a bit faster than it was. It says M18 Packout Radio. No longer flashing, pretty quick, easy, fast connection. It's now solid. So you have your mode, preset, EQ, clock, Bluetooth button, play, pause, forward, and back, uh, reverse. You have these two lights right here if it's plugged in. Not sure where the music is coming from. Let's see. I don't have anything open at the moment. Oh, it's coming from right here. All right. Pause the music. Presets would be uh, you're probably your regular AM, FM, more than likely mode. So FM, AM, auxiliary which is the 3.5 millimeter plug, Bluetooth. Demonetized. <laughs> we'll just open, we'll open something from YouTube. Something like this. Start cell. Do, do, do. There you go. It's on one, two, three, four, five bars. Definitely sounds very good. Colorful Flowers by Tokyo Music Walker. Sounds really good. Over You by Ach. Uh, let's try to find something else. This is independent, so if I turn the volume down on my phone, it does not turn the volume down on the stereo. Sounds very good. 
I haven't changed any presets or anything like that. But if you wanted to change the EQ, you just push the EQ, bump the bass up, drop the bass down. The light's flashing. Treble, push the EQ button again, jumps the treble up or down. That's it. Press, hold, um, press on it to turn it off. These two lights are for um, when it's charging. When this cable's plugged in and there's a battery in the bay, that's for charging. Um, clock. It's pretty, pretty much the same as setting up this M12 um, Radio Plus charger right here. Um, pretty much the same. Other than you can connect pack out items to it, stuff like that. So, if I push the play pause, it does pause the, the application that's up. Push next, it does change the video. Goes back when you push back, change it on the phone. So, all the controls work just fine. It is 6.08 p.m., so click on the clock. You gotta hold the clock button down. It's actually pretty correct. It went back to 12 a.m. for some reason. Hold on, guys. My watch just turned itself off. There, clock set. You just push the clock to to come to finish uh, the changes. Oh. So, just a quick demonstration, guys. I will definitely be bringing it outside. We'll do an outside demonstration like I did with the DeWalt. I know the last time I did, the, when I did the DeWalt stereo, got a lot of people complained that I didn't demonstrate it on the very first video, which was the unboxing. I'll give you a little taste, um, and then I'll take it outside um, and do a separate video on it. Just hold the button down, turn it off. I more than likely am not gonna be using the power port on it, um, the plug on the side. So there's subwoofers right there, the resonator is right here. Let me take you guys off the tripod and show you real quick. Probably not gonna see it. Let me turn the light on. It might help. There you go, there's this, this subwoofer in the back. There's the passive resonator. Um, it does have screws where you can take this off if you want. This is metal. The antenna, I like that it does, they, they do provide an antenna, I like that a lot. It's got a pinch point so the antenna will literally stay in that position. Everything looks nice, tweeter is on top, speaker on the bottom. All in all, it's a very nice unit, fits the 12 perfectly fine, you do have a little room for a bigger battery if they do ever do come out with a bigger battery. Just another item I added to the arsenal. Um, of pack out items and uh, it's really nice it's probably the the nicest in my opinion um, pack out item I've bought doesn't have any major issues if I do find any issues scratches or anything like that I'll let you guys know not really sure what all this is it's a bunch of white stuff just coming right off all these oh it's probably from my fingers because I'm my 
fingers are uh, shedding like a snake. But it's a nice looking stereo. It does sound good from a distance. You know, this is just my kitchen. Um, it does sound a little rattly, and the reason being when the bass was hitting, it was making the toolbox rattle. So uh, don't pay any mind to that. We'll do another separate video on it where you guys actually do get to hear um, it outside. So I do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, video's been long enough. If you guys have any questions, let me know. If you guys want me to demonstrate it in a specific scenario, let me know. If you guys want to see, you know, maybe it how it sounds in the back of a pickup truck or in the back of an SUV or a car or something. You know, say you're just tailgating, something like that. Let me know. Give me ide ideas on videos you'd like to see on this stereo. I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me today, checking out the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Smoosh the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my <coughs> DJI Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links, and also have an Ulsa Tools link below. If you guys click on that link, it'll get you 10% off your order, ulsatools.com. It will also kick me back 10% off my next order from Ulsa Tools, so if you do use it, it does help me save me a little money also. Uh, when I buy some tools from them for the channel. Um, all affiliate links, I do get a commission. doesn't cost you anything extra. They just give me a, a small percentage um, that, because you guys bought something off one of my links. If you guys do use my links, I do very much appreciate it because it does save me money. It does kick me back a little money um, that I end up putting back into the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. The Makita 36 volt saw is next um, on the take it apart, take it out of the box, check it out, unboxing videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you guys on the next video. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Peace!